Sometimes food needs to be more than a meal. For those special occasions, try. Spice supreme spices. The spice is nice. Carroll Street Kitchen is filmed in front of a live studio audience. What's up, y'all? Back here at Carroll Street Kitchen. Y'all asked, we're giving it to you. Episode three. Let's go see what they're cooking up today. Hey, fellas. All it's right. really good to have you back here at Carroll Kitchen. So, thanks to the new revenue we've been getting from the past few episodes, I actually hired two guys on staff now, so I didn't really have to work, but don't tell my wife, you know? All right, so Jason's back. Here's, he's our new chef, you know. Go check out what he's about. He's working on a little, little rice here, and um, we've got Matthew on the fry. He's the fry boy, he's making some fish. Yep. Now, Mr. Gelker, you know, what you got, man? describe the staff you put together. All right, like, you know, your opinions on Mr. Johnson over there. You know, I just really appreciate all the support we've been getting. He's been able to elevate, you know, not only our income, but our standing in the community. You know, we're actually able to hire some of these guys. They come in from Toy, five-star restaurants. Come in here, start our humble little Carol Street Diner, you know. It's a real beautiful thing. We've been growing a lot, you know. More sponsorships from Spice Supreme. Getting to hire on Jason Johnson, straight out of the Culinary Academy of America. Like, this man cooks some serious heat. Look at the way he puts that on. Oh, my God. I mean, that cordon. I mean, that's serious cordon. That's like, that like, like, looking excellent. I mean, you learn that in France. Oh, I've been here my whole life. I don't know how to put corn like that. You must have been the ethnic man. I don't know. Now, we also have another guest here, Mr. Jacob. All right, I'm here with Mr. Jacob, a.k.a. Spice Boy. Now, how did you get the nickname Spice Boy Supreme? Well, you know, I have a pretty big background in the spice trading. You know, I like to keep it classic. You know, I go on my boat, and I just go around the world just collecting different spices. And I've... I've amassed a pretty big collection that we are going to use in our dinner. Oh, Spice Boy! So called Spice Boy Supreme? Yes. Now, what, what drew you to the Carroll Street Kitchen tonight? Well, as part of my like vocation, I have an unpaid internship at the Carroll Street Kitchen. Now, Mr. Johnson, you're new here. What, what drew you to the Carroll Street Kitchen? It was just the atmosphere, family atmosphere. Um, just, I felt the love in my interview. I knew this was the place for me. We're here with Mr. Gelker. Now, Mr. Gelker, as head chef at Carroll Street Kitchen, What's the number one quality it takes to run such an intensive operation? You know, I feel like, just as in our food here, you know, just as in our ingredients, the number one ingredient is love, baby. And that's how I feel about, you know, developing this workplace environment. Hey, Mr. Gelb! Hey, what the hell? You want to get back in the kitchen? Why aren't you cooking? Why aren't you just coming in here? Golly, all right. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by that brick I call a sous chef. Well, I was saying that, you know, love is just the number one ingredient to building a good workplace environment, all right? I feel like everyone feels comfortable to express themselves in the food and to, you know, grow together as individuals in the kitchen, you know. The more love we build in our little kitchen community here, the more love that goes into the food. Hey, you know, Hey, hey, get out of here! My kitchen! Hey, get it back in the kitchen! Why are you not working? I don't pay you to sit on your butt! Wow, all right, and can you describe what you're cooking up right now? So this is corn and onions. <laughs> corn and onions. <laughs> Uh, and we're gonna throw in some rice, and it's gonna become fried rice. It's just like magic. It's just gonna poof. That sounds pretty fantastic. Now, Mr. Olson, this is your second appearance on the Carol Street Kitchen. Why, yes, it is. Here? I'm cooking up some fish over here. It's some uh, chili uh, marinated tilapia and some tempera batter. It's gonna be pretty good. Wow, it looks excellent. And I love the new the new outfit. Oh, yes, it has my name on it. In case you forget my name, my name is Matthew. There you go. There you go. Uh, Mr. Matthew, Gelker, I got, I got another question for you. What's In up? light of uh, today's events and past few days with the stock market and everything, how, how is the Carol Street Kitchen stock? All right, so shout out to all of our friends at Reddit. You know, our good friends over at Spice Supreme, man, their stock's been up 6,800%. In three days, it's awesome. You know, really got to take it to the Wall Street the jerks, man. Sick there you go. Tired. Now over here, Mr. Olson, it seems like you've taken some of the tilapia out. What are you working on here? Well, I think we made our batter a little bit too uh, 
little bit too dry there, and uh, we've got some kind of really breaded fish over here. Oh, I but we're, uh, we're toning oh, it down a little bit, trying to get that nice light and fluffy crust, you know. Now we're here with food critic uh, Mr. Vogley. Now, Mr. Vogley, first thoughts on the appearance of a dish? It's wet. It's wet. Now, first, first bites. Let, let's let's see what he thinks here. Look at that nice, nice chunk of tilapia right there. It's good. You heard it here. It's good. And guess what? If you come to the Carroll Street Kitchen, you can get some of this good food too. Very nice. <laughs>